I'm here at halftime, and coming over to the microphone, Pete Maravich, and on my right, Smith Barrier of the Greensboro Daily News and president of the U.S. Basketball Writers Association with a presentation to Pete Maravich. Smith? Thank you, Jack. Hi, Pete. Each year, the United States Basketball Writers Association selects the outstanding collegiate player. This year, for the first time, the trophy is named for Hank Iba, the retired coach at Oklahoma State, the gold medal Olympic winner in Mexico City. Naturally, the winner was Pete Maravich. Maravich, born in Pennsylvania, raised in South Carolina, prepped in North Carolina, college in Louisiana, and now a young businessman in Georgia. Remember the Atlanta Hawks. Pistol Pete is a natural nickname, but also his nickname could be Peter Rabbit, the most prolific scorer in collegiate basketball. Pete, on behalf of the United States Basketball Writers Association, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Smith. And Pete, uh, congratulations to you and welcome to the NBA. What are your thoughts right now at uh, the halfway point in your first ball game as a pro? Well, I'm real happy. Uh, I'm real happy uh, that everybody got together at, at the... We didn't have too uh, good of an exhibition season, mainly because we had so many new faces on the club, and uh, everybody has to go through that experience, as you know. So uh, I'm just real happy right now. Pete, uh, Richie Guerin said you had an awful lot of adjustments to make. Have you made those adjustments? And what, in your mind, do you think you have to change about your game to be a, a, a vital part of this Atlanta ball club? Well, I think you have to make a number of adjustments. Number one, you have to adjust on defense. You can't be lackadaisical on any, any one person in the NBA since they're so super. Another adjustment you have to make is to the discipline offense that uh, Richie runs. Uh, this is something that everybody adjusts to once they, because the veterans have been running this type of offense for a long period of years. And uh, right now I'm just trying to get in the groove of the NBA, and uh, I think everything's going to work out. I notice in that first quarter you're sitting over there on the bench very intently. Are you studying the moves of the uh, Oscar Robertsons, the Lucius Allens, trying to pick up what would be effective for you when you do get in the ballgame? Well, I'm not trying to pick up anybody's moves, Jack. I'm just trying to uh, uh, actually just uh, pick up some type of uh, uh, natural defensive movement that people make uh, that, uh, that it takes experience to get this and this is what I'm hoping to get uh, from watching on the sidelines. Pete, you carried a 44 point per game average in college. I don't think it's any uh, question that you're not going to average that amount of points in pro ball. How do you feel about this? Do you think that uh, you can be a bigger asset by moving the ball around and not look at the basket like you did in college? Well, Jack, when you, when you get to the pros, you're playing with such superhuman basketball players that uh, my scoring ability is not really needed on this team. We've already got tremendous shooters. Uh, I just want to uh, be able to utilize any part of my game which can help the Hawks in the NBA championship. Pete, what did Richie say to you when you came into the game there in the second period? What does he look for you to do out there with this Atlanta Hawk ball club? Well, I think Richie wants me to uh, try to adjust myself uh, to maybe uh, not so much harness anything that I do, but to uh, adjust to the specific situation in which I'm playing. How about the loss of Caldwell and the loss of, say, 20 points a game? How does the team feel about this coming into the NBA season? Do you look to Hudson more, or, or is the team looking to everybody else to pick up the slack? Well, I think what you try to do, Jack, is just everybody, like I said, tries to get together. Uh, before this game today, everybody was uh, really intent, and uh, we really didn't know how we were going to uh, overcome, uh, say, so many mistakes that we made in exhibition season, but it seems that we've worked this out, and this is what we're trying to do, a team effort. Pete, thank you very much. Again, welcome to the NBA. Good luck to you. Thank you very much, Jack. Fine. Now let's go back to Jerry.